Hey guys, this is Dr. JT, MD General Medicine and a Rheumatology Resident and a part-time YouTuber and I welcome you to my channel Dr. JTM and one more episode of Power Revision for Neat PG. Hope you all enjoying these videos as well as it is helping uh, your revision. Uh, I hope so it is helping for your revision. So if it is really, please subscribe to the channel and without any delay, let's get into the Power Revision video for Neat PG. And the question comes as a 26 year old female is evaluated preoperatively for a meniscal surgery with a history of heavy menstrual periods and bleeding during the dental procedures. She does not take any medications, no history of any anticoagulants or antithrombotics, uh, sorry, anticoagulants or antiplatelets. And uh, on examination, a uh, patient is completely normal on labs, normal CBC, APTT, and PTINR. But how? Uh, but uh, what has happened is that uh, as the patient is having a, uh, already history of bleeding and menstrual period they have also assessed platelet function and the platelet function analyzer 100 uh, has been uh, tested and it has got a test called prolonged VWB antigen levels are reduced which is a quantitative analysis VWF Ristocetin cofactor assay is also showing a reduced activity so this already have given you a clear picture but here uh, two to three new terms have been seen and what are those we'll be discussing in the question my eye should go on to the points like uh, heavy menstrual cycles bleeding during the dental procedures that means some bleeding abnormality is there but examination is normal vitals are normal and also we have done few investigations like cbc uh, ptinr aptt so when we talk about ptinr aptt uh, those represent present the clotting factor defect so the patient is completely uh, having a normal coagulation pathway both extrinsic and intrinsic pathway now what else is left in order to assess the bleeding manifestation platelets so platelets we have been assessed and two platelet tests was done one is platelet function uh, function test 100 that analysis is a new test that is being performed uh, for uh, these platelet disorders or bleeding man uh, bleeding disorders and particularly it is useful in assessing von willebrand disease type 2a 2b and 3 remember this this is the new question that can be asked this platelet function test uh, or platelet function analyzer 100 test is used for specifically von willebrand test von willebrand uh, disease 2a 2b and three so there is also other uh, investigation as it is as the platelet uh, disorders have also uh, the platelet function test have also been done and this platelet function test also helps in uh, differentiating glansman's thrombasthenia also so uh, remember that point as well and von willebrand factor as well as antigen levels have been tested and those are reduced so it is a von willebrand disease that is the sure shot diagnosis but that's not what we wanted we need some new points which can be asked so what are those let us see so how do you manage this one willebrand disease patient or a child desmopressin iv to be given in the patients uh, before a surgical procedure or intranasally as needed if in the patient comes on op basis so this desmopressin will help the platelets uh, uh, regeneration as one of the factor um, so one of the uh, factor that is present in the platelet cytoplasm is this uh, uh, this function similar to that of desmopressin and in a type 2b one willebrand disease type 2b where there is increased binding of high molecule weight fragments of one will one factor to platelet receptors and in type 3 there is a severe factor deficiency so these two points can be asked in matching one will one disease one 2a 2b 3 3n is also there and all this will be asked in the form of matching what is the defect defect so a, a here i'll be telling two things remaining you can adjust so 2b there will be increased high molecular weight binding of one will one factor uh, to the platelet uh, receptors whereas in th uh, 3 there is a factor complete deficiency so in this two only you go for one will one factor concentrate transfusion so that is how the treatment to be given if a question including 2b and 3 uh, patient is asked so you can also go for antifibrinate fibrinolytic therapy like tranexamic acid is also useful before uh, and after the surgical procedures also if the patient is having uh, this menorrhagia and the basic complications will always be excessive bleeding and anemia so that is not that won't be asked but just point sake i have kept it here and now the power revision of one willebrand disease will be the most common hereditary bleeding disorder due to platelet dysfunction is one willebrand disease so it is due to an autosomal dominant defect or deficiency of one willebrand factor 
factor okay these are the two important points that can be asked and von willebrand factor promotes platelet adhesion and function as a protective carrier protein for factor 8 so they remember that point also this which factor uh, is being helped by von willebrand factor factor 8 will be um, uh, will be helpful and is it in the intrinsic pathway is it in the extrinsic pathway that's what extrinsic pathway when von willebrand factor deficiency is present a secondary factor 8 deficiency results as well like we have uh, said that factor 8 is being helped by that so the, the help won't be there obviously factor 8 levels will also decrease so features of factor 8 deficiency will also be present in uh, cases of von willebrand disease if there is deficiency of von willebrand factor leads to mucocutaneous bleeding that mimics thrombocytopenia so the patient should be evaluated for platelet function then if the platelet levels are normal and platelet function is reduced it is von willebrand disease if the platelet function uh, is normal but platelets are low it is thrombocytopenia avoid nsaids and platelet function inhibitors as they worsen the bleeding nsaids will inhibit the platelet adhesion like aspirin so aspirin is one of the uh, uh, nsaid that can cause that that acts as is an anti platelet so you avoid these in these particular patients so that's it and von willebrand disease is one of the latest uh, questions that is being asked and there is a high probability that is that will be asked this year also so please do uh, revise this by watching or uh, by watching these videos and all the topics that i am discussing are very very important for your exam and there has high probability of being asked either for physiological part pathology pharmacology part or medicine part so all this is being covered don't worry for the next days that are coming for neat pg one video will be released every day and your revision will be power packed and i'll be coming back with one more video until then subscribe to the channel and click that notification button this is dr jt signing off